In today's video, I am going to show you how I made this Tesseract animation into Octopets. Let's get started. First of all, we have to create new composition and I set this composition to 4K resolution. Name it main comb, hit OK. Now I am creating a shape. Just double click on the shape tool to create a rectangle shape. Then go to the drop down menu of this shape and delete the fill. Then uncheck this icon to change the scale value individually. Then change the X and Y values 1000 to 1000 pixels to get a perfect square shape. Then go to the stroke drop down menu and change stroke width to something 60. Then change butt cap to round cap and change meter joint to round joint. Then select a rectangle path, right click and select convert to desired path or Bezier path. After that select path then go to the window and select create nulls from path. You can add this panel anywhere into the After Effects. Now is the important part of this animation. Just click on the points follow nulls button. So it will create four null object into your timeline and make sure your path is selected. Now I got four null objects into the timeline. These null objects connected to four points of this square shape. If you can see here, if I move this null object, so this point automatically follow this particular null object because this point is connected to the null object. Now I'm clicking this 3D icon. So our null object convert into 3D object. Now if I change this null object position, so you will see it is moving in a 3D space. Let me add a 3D camera layer into the timeline. So I will show you. Okay. Now if I rotate camera using camera orbit tool, so you will see this shape move in a 3D space and I'm controlling it with a null object, which is connected to the point of this shape. To create another square, just select all layers and duplicate it and place it above all layers. Don't forget to duplicate shape layer. As you can see, I forget to duplicate the shape layer, but I'll duplicate it later. Then select these three nulls and connect to top null. Change the color level of it to recognize it later and repeat this process with other nulls. Then I'm going to add a 3D camera layer into the timeline and rotate the camera a little bit. Now select the top null object and drag it to the Z axis. But here you can see, I can't see the shape of the square because I forgot to duplicate the shape layer. To fix this, just duplicate the shape layer and place it above the all four null objects. After that, we have to change the paths of the null objects. To do this, just select the layer and change the paths of null. Here we got our second square shape. Now we have to connect them to make a cube. For that, I am using a pen tool to create a simple line into our composition. Then again, click on this button to make a null objects for this line. Here you can see we got two new null objects into our timeline because our shape has two points. So one null object for each point. Okay. Repeat the whole process. Just select the shape layer and change the path of null objects. Here you can see how I connect them. I repeat this process until I get the cube. After finishing this process, here is our cube to make another cube. You have two options. You can repeat this process to make a cube or just duplicate the layers and change the paths of null in the effects panel as we did before. Here are our two cubes in our composition. Now we have to connect them to each other. To do this, I'm using pen tool and creating a line. Then again, click on this button to create null object. And we follow the same process which we did before to connect the lines in this cube. Of course, it's a time consuming job and you have to connect the shapes to each other manually. So just move on to the animation part of this video. 
to animate this design i created four nulls object and each null object connect with four null objects of each square then i simply animate this using position and scale values of the null objects let's see the final results as i always said that i can only show you the way destination is yours so that's it for now guys hope you learned something new today be creative and see in the next video